everyone, Cash here, back with another video from MLB The Show 16. Today we continue our road to the show with Trey Cash, and today we're trying something a little bit different. We're going with a face cam, the live commentary face cam in this episode, trying to just get the series going. I had a big recording session, so the first few episodes didn't have any face cam, but I wanted to try that out, try this out with the series. And a couple of you, at least one of you, had mentioned in the comments of previous uh, episodes that uh, you'd like to see the face cam in uh, this series so I'm gonna give it a shot today obviously it does change the dynamic a little bit doing the live commentary so I'm gonna see how this one goes a little bit of a test but if it goes well then we will use this uh, for the rest of the series so let me know what you think about it in the comments down below but wasting no more time let's get into this continue Trey's career now we had a very very good episode well we've had a very very good last couple weeks as you can see in our comparison here Trey and Albert Pujols, obviously, or obviously Albert Pujols as well, is trending upwards. You see Pujols is an 82. He's an adjusted overall 85. And we are at a 54, adjusted overall 59. And you see we have five home runs already. And it's only been, what, three weeks, I think, into the season. So we're hitting 561. We've got five home runs, 17 RBIs, and two stolen bases. So Trey having a very, very good start to his MLB career. We're still sitting in double A, starter at first base. As we'll see, I don't know how long, I don't expect us, if we keep playing like this, it take very long to get up to AAA, but uh, we're just going to keep grinding these games, so we're going to play a couple series today, we'll get through those, and let's waste no more time and get straight into our first game. And here comes Trey to the plate, 561 average, as I said, a very, very good start to the season, but we're going to get this one going. Now, the one thing i got to keep an eye on here, I am going with the dynamic difficulty, and I had heard recently that that might not be working uh, correctly in this game. That it might be a little bit bugged, so we might have to change the difficulty. That may be why we're playing so well. But for the time being, we're just starting out in double A. We'll keep the difficulty maybe a little bit down, but we're looking for the right pitch here. This one might be it, and yes, it is. Trey going to rope that one out to left field, and we will start this one off with a single. All right, and we are going to have a fielding opportunity here. 0-2 count, two outs, man on first. So let's see where is it going to go. And wow, that was a quick one. But that's going to be easy for us to scoop up, step on the bag, and that will be a quick end there to the first inning. All right, and here we are up now, top of the fourth, man on first and second. It's a 1-1 count, two outs. We are looking for a base hit here to get a run in, and we're going to just go out for that one. And is it going to get down? No, that was a horrible pitch to swing at, and we are going to go down here in the fourth inning. And we will get another opportunity. So we are one for four on the day. It's now six to nothing. So the team is doing well. Trey, not so much. But top of the eighth, we have a man on second. It is going to be one out. And let's see if we can get a hit. That one's going to be low in the zone. Figures as soon as we guess high, he's going to throw it low. But let's just keep it up top here and see if we can get a ball we can maybe hit out of the park as this pitch is going to come. And that one is going to be good. But nope, that one. And we're just, I don't know what it is today. We're just missing them just by a little bit. But that is going to be a disappointing end to Trey's day. And a disappointing game for Trey, but we do win 6-2. to two. We go just 1 for 5. Let's jump straight into game number 2 now. And as we get game number 2 started, we are leading off once again in this one. The average now at 522 after the rough game, still over 500. So we can't complain. We're hitting very well still. But let's see if we can improve things here in game number 2. And this one's going to be outside the zone. Good eye from Trey. And now a 1-1 one, one count. Trey awaiting the pitch. And it's going to be down the middle. Let's take a swing at this one. It's going to be out to left field. But that should be caught. And it's not going to be caught. A poor attempt there from the left fielder. And let's just stop at second. Let's see if they give us the hit, though. That might be called an error. Nope. It is going to be a base hit, an extra base hit. That's the way we like to start the games out. And we're back up here in the top of the third. We are down three to nothing. So one of the rare times we've been down this season. We're looking to come back here. Trey, a man on second, one out, a single should get us an RBI. Let's see if we can do it, though, as we are guessing high. And we are going to get it. And we are going to jump on this one. And that should be a run. Let's see. Yes, that should be an easy score there. As let's see, is he going to make an attempt? Nope, not going to make an attempt. So a nice pitch to jump on there from Trey, the first pitch. Going to be a base hit and an RBI. We're going to earn ourselves 15 points. As it's the top of the seventh, the tie game, 4-4. Four, four. And Trey awaiting the pitch. He's going to see it. That is a slow ball, and we are not going to get good contact on that one. And that is going to be our first out of the day. So an unsuccessful trip to the plate there for Trey. Now a 2-1 count. I'm just going to keep guessing up here with this forcing fastball, waiting for him to throw one. And he's not going to do it here either. But that one we are going to be able to hit. And Trey is going to put that one out to left field. So we are going to get on base here. Let's see if Trey can get this winning run across. 
So we do get the hits, and we are not going to pick up the win. So there goes the sweep. We're going to lose this one 5-4. to four. Trey, a much better game today, though. We go 4-5, for five, I think, in that one. We'll move on now to the final game of the series. We're back up, top of the fourth. We do have a one to nothing lead. Trey, unsuccessful in his first at-bat. But let's see what we can do here in at-bat number two. As let's wait for this one to come in. Is it going to be anything good? Not bad pitch there, but we were guessing high. Let's keep guessing high here. I'm waiting for that high fastball to come in that we can just belt out of the park. Is it going to be this one? It might be. We're going to jump on it. It's not going to be out of the park, but that should be an extra base hit. Let's see if Trey can get on his horse. How quick is he going to get to it? We are not going to be able to go to third, so we will stop here. That will be our second double of the series, though. And Trey back up on the top of the six. We're one for two in this game. And let's see if we can get another hit. This one, it's going to be high in the zone. And we are going to jump all over this one. And it's going to be ripped down the right line. Let's see if we can get to two. He got a really good bounce. And we are going to be safe. Another double for Trey. That's two doubles in this game. As the speed coming in huge for us there. As we're able to just beat that throw. And that will do it. And we are going to hold on to the win. Three to nothing is going to be the score. Another good game for Trey. As let's see, we don't get a uh, player of the game. Two home runs from Robert Botts. Very nice as he hits two solo shots. But let's see, Trey is going to end up going, what did we go? Three for four on that one. Two doubles and a run scored. So not bad. That is actually now going to be the end of this series. So we're going to jump out to the menu. We'll do a little bit of training and then we'll get right into the next series. Now we have been working on our contact and power almost exclusively. You can see. That has already gone up 12 and 11 for contact, 3 and 2 for power. But we got to keep working on our field. You see, it is not very good. It's only a 30, and we have seen that uh, bite us a couple times as uh, we've had a few errors this season. The arm strength as well, not good either. So it's because it's so cheap, let's work on these, get all of this up to 30, and maybe put a couple points into fielding. Let's see what that's going to do. That's going to leave us with 504. Now let's work on, we should probably keep working on our contacts. Let's get these up to uh, 55. And then this is going to be expensive, but let's get, actually, let's take this back. Let's make those both 48. Those are both going to be 50. And then let's go put some more points into field. Let's get it up to 35 and maybe reactions. Do we really need reactions? Probably not. So let's just keep going it in here and then maybe, actually we can put one point into reaction. So let's see, is that gonna raise our overall? We are gonna be up to a 56 now with the plus three. I don't know if that's counted, but our adjusted overall is gonna be 60 now. So we're all done training. Now let's go and uh, play this next series. Let's get going here. We're gonna guess up with the fastball and that's what's gonna be thrown. And can we get a hit? That one's gonna be hit hard and is it gonna be out? Yes, it is, Trey Cash. Going to lead it off with the home run. Very nice from Trey. That's going to be number six on the season. And RBI number 19. We got two outs, and we're going to guess right again. Can we get another home run? That one is absolutely not down the middle, but we should have hit that one better than that. But we are going to be on our horse. Can we get a triple here? That might set up this cycle. And it's going to be a bad throw to the cutoff, and that's going to be an easy triple. And Trey Cash is going to be a double away from hitting for the cycle for his first time. And we got a couple opportunities, I think, to get it. And here we are, sixth inning, and we definitely are going to have at least a couple shots at getting this double for the cycle. And this might be an opportunity where I give Showtime a try. Maybe should have did it there, but I've actually, uh, and honestly, I keep forgetting Showtime is even there. I have not used that at all in this uh, episode, which is now, this is the fourth game. But let's see, can we use it here? You know what, let's try. And we're just going to swing at that one, and that's well hit, and it might be another home run. And it's going to be another home run. Dead center field. A deep shot from Trey. All I wanted was a double, not a home run. We should have another opportunity to get the double to get the cycle, but I will definitely take a multi-home run game. And look at this. Springfield is coming back. It is a 9-7 to game. Seventh inning. Nobody is out. Let's see if we can turn two here. That should be easy to throw in an easy double play. Very nice. And we do not get another opportunity. I'm not going to hate, though, because Trey does end up with two home runs. We go four for five, two runs, a triple, two double, or two home runs, and three RBIs. That should be good enough for player of the game. And yes, it is. Trey Cash, first baseman, going to be the player of the game. That's going to be, I think, our second 
player of the game of the season. Not bad from Trey. Let's move right here. Uh, let's move right on now to the second game of the series. And look at this. The bases are loaded. Could this be a showtime situation? Yes, it is. And this one is not going to be a home run, but it is going to be, should be, two RBIs. And that is going to be two RBIs. So it is, there is some variability in using Showtime. We do get the hit. Would have loved another Grand Slam. We already have one in our career, but we will take that. And look at this, a 10-game hitting streak for Trey Cash. Beautiful, beautiful start for this uh, double-A rookie. And here we go. We are going to lead up the ninth inning here. We are losing 4-2, to two. Trey. Let's start this inning outright. As this one going to be high, and we're going to jump on it. But no, not good contact there from Trey. That's going to be an easy catch in left field. And let's see here now if our teammates can make a comeback. And no, they cannot. We are going to lose four for two. Trey, disappointing, one for five. We do pick up the two RBIs, but we're going to lose this one. Move on now, game number three of the series. And look at the opportunity we're going to get here. First and third, just one out. We got to at least get the sacrifice, sacrifice fly. Springfield picked up another run, so it's now three to nothing as we'll watch that first ball. And let's see what can we do in this at bat. I love a three-run home run. But at least one RBI is what we need to get here. And we're going to jump on this one. And that should be deep enough. Can the runner score as he's coming in? And it should be a run. Yes, it is. So Trey picks up the sacrifice fly. So we don't get the hit, but we do get the RBI. And we are going to cut into that Springfield lead. And there are some more runners on base for us here in the fifth inning. First and second. No outs. Even better. 4-1 game. Springfield in the lead. We're going to watch that first ball. Is everybody here throwing pretty hard? This is going to be the same guy, only 54 pitches, but he's throwing pretty hard here as we're going to wait for this one. Let's guess up top on the fastball, and that's what he's going to throw, and we're going to jump on this one late on the hit, but it should get down. Can the runner score? He's going to try. Can he get there? Please don't keep running to second, and he's in another RBI for Trey, and we get the single as well in this one. It looks like we didn't tie it up as it's the ninth inning. It is a 5-4 game. Trey looking to tie this one up in one swing. And we're going to get the opportunity. And we're going to jump on it. And it's going to be a no-doubter. Trey Cash, a deep rainbow shot. Absolutely gone. And this is going to be a tie game. We only get 20 points for tying the game with a home run. I think they'd give you maybe a little bit of a bonus for that clutch shot, but it is looks like maybe we can win this one, but probably going to be going into extra innings here. And we are not going to get the win. The Cardinals pick up two runs. And look at this. We had three errors in that game. That might have been the difference. Trey goes three for five. The home run, three every eyes, one run, but we don't get the win. And looking at the schedule, the next episode is going to bring us to the end of our first month in the bigs as we're going to be playing against Tulsa. And then it's going to be another uh, series against Springfield as that will be another four gamer, it looks like. So that will bring us into the month of May. So not a bad first month for Trey so far. We're 11 and 5. We are now in adjusted overall 62. So we are absolutely raking right now as uh, we did prove that there in this, this episode with a couple of home runs. But... That is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.